The Anasazi people built the Cliff Palace in modern-day Colorado, using materials readily available in their environment. They utilized sandstone abundant in the region as the primary building material. The sandstone blocks were expertly shaped and fitted with remarkable precision, creating sturdy and enduring walls. Wooden beams supported the ceilings and upper floors. These beams were carefully placed to ensure structural stability. A mixture of clay, ash, and water bound the sandstone blocks together. Chinking stones were used on the wooden beams to add stability, durability, and insulation to the structure. The Cliffside Palace has about 150 rooms and housed an estimated 100 people. The palace had about three different types of rooms. The living room, the primary living space for families, was about six to eight feet in length and width. The kivas, or ceremonial rooms, were circular, about 12 to 15 feet in diameter, and partially underground. The storage rooms were smaller, measuring four to six feet in length and width. They often stored food, tools, and other important items. The Anasazi people were Native Americans located in the Four Corner region of the United States, where the borders of Colorado, Arizona, Utah, and New Mexico meet. The Anasazi occupied the area for about 700 years, from 500 AD to 1200 AD. The location of the palace was strategic. It naturally protected against potential enemies. The position of the palace made it difficult for invaders to gain access. Despite their well-documented life, their sudden departure from the Cliff Palace remains a mystery. Some theories suggest prolonged droughts and resource depletion force them to leave for better living conditions. Others propose internal strife contributed to their migration. Comment below what you think. If you enjoyed this journey, watch more videos from Lost Worlds Explored.